The reality is that each child has firstly their own personality. So each child's reaction to the same stimuli will be different. Secondly, because of the different times that the children came into our life, they also have different emotional conditions that are key emotional conditions. So for example, if your first child came to your life when you were 20 and you hadn't worked through hardly any of your causal emotion, then that child may finish up having a lot more damage in them than the child that comes into your life when you were 30 and you've worked through quite a lot of different emotions. Also, the child's gender will be very uh, uh, much a determining factor. So if I'm a man and I have anger towards a woman, if I have a girl child, she is going to feel that more than, I'm fine, than if I have a boy child. And he obviously won't feel that, he'll feel that less, but he may feel more the emotion of wanting to be angry with women, if that makes sense, because he's reflecting my emotion. So every single circumstance with our children is totally different. Even their ages are different. And uh, the times that they came into our life are different. What emotional injuries I had at the time they came into my life are completely different. And what emotional injuries my partner had at the time they came into our life is totally different. Can you see how there's so many variable factors that it's totally impossible for each child to act in the same way to the same stimuli. And that's the reason why one child will focus on particular lots of issues. You, you will find what will happen in your own progression is you'll deal with one child's focus of all their issues and then you might find another child has a hyper focus of different issues come up for them. And that'll be because you now work through the first issues and you now under the issues surrounding the child, the second child perhaps. Or, and it will be totally dependent upon the order will be totally, uh, or seemingly random, uh, but it'll be very dependent upon your own emotion. But, but uh, certain children might placate our injuries and other ones trigger us, which is essentially what you're saying. But um, if we then decide that one child is our favourite child and the other one isn't, then we add actually to their soul damage. And I've heard a lot of people say, oh, this child was just born spiritual, or this child was just born this or that. Honestly, when you're saying things like that, you already have within yourself a lot of damaging emotions projected at the other children. And that's uh, very damaging to those children. So the key is to understand that even the most damaged child in our family, what we view as the most damaged child in the family, is actually a reflection of our own denial of emotion, or desire. And we'll talk about denial of desire in a minute. 